So yeah, it's first scene in the morning, um, getting ready to run a series of appointments starting from 8 a.m. until 7 to 8 p.m. And look, this message is not for everyone, and I'm getting ready to share. This message is only for, at the end of the day, the select few, right? Those of you who say, look, Mr. Buford, I want it. Um, I've made up my mind. I've drawn a line in the sand. Um, I'm ready to get after it and really be about the process of sharpening the saw, chiseling myself and creating the life that I want to live, right? Being the designer of the lifestyle that I want for myself and my family as opposed to falling in default, right? Where you take what the world gives you. And here's the thing. I hear a lot of individuals um, talking about they're tired. I hear a lot of individuals talking about what they're not able to do. And I hear a lot um, of excuses about why they're not able to do something. And I'm just going to be so real right now, right? And look, if the shoe fits, wear it, uh, eat the fruit, spit out the seed. But let me be transparent again. Like, you know, this message is for everyone, but it's specifically for those individuals who've articulated, who said, I'm ready to draw the line in the sand. And here's the thing. You're going to be tired. You know, when I hear individuals talking about they're going to be tired, that they're tired, they're fatigued, they just don't have it. Look, I got news for you. Did you expect not to be tired? <laughs> I mean, look, if you're working a job and you're working a job eight, 10 hours a day, right? Because we're talking about the, the work that you do plus the drive and commute, brushing your teeth, getting dressed up. If you have an eight hour, an hour job a day, uh, you're really working 10, 12 hours, right? And the bottom line is if you want above and beyond what the job can offer you, at the end of the day, you still got to give a couple more hours to your business, right? You got to give a couple more hours to your financial independence vehicle. And it's amazing to me, right, that the boss can call you up. The boss can demand that you spend an extra two, three hours on the job. And you know five years from now, you're not going to be any further ahead. You're not going to be any closer to your goals. That job, there's not a, a golden pot of gold waiting for you, right? It's going to be the same thing. You're going to get your two, three, five percent raise, but you can't give two, three hours, right, to a business briefing. You can't give two, three hours. I mean, let's be real. The briefings don't last two, three hours, but you get the point. You can't give two, three hours to um, reading a good book over the course of a week. You can't give two to three hours to listening to a conference call, right? When you know you're working within a business, when you signed a dotted line and became a franchise owner of a vehicle that's producing a family that earns a million dollars plus on a monthly basis, but you can clock into that job every single day. Look, you got to get real with yourself. You're going to get tired. You're going to be fatigued. You're not going to want to do it. Your body and mind is going to fight. You're in a battle, right? There's a winner and there's a loser in you. And the loser wants the comfort zone. The loser wants to do things as they've always, as it's always been done. But in order to get different, you got to be willing to do differently. You got to be willing to give extra if you want an extraordinary life. And for those of you who've said, look, I want above and beyond the ordinary. I want to be beyond the mediocre, right? I want to be different than the 85% who live check to check, month to month, right? Week to week, day to day. That's 80, 85% of the entire U.S. population. Yeah. So you're not alone. You're part of the 85%. But if you want to be, if you want to have above beyond mediocre, if you want to have above and beyond ordinary, you got to be willing to give extra. So yeah, expect to be tired. You're going to have to adopt different habits. Expect that. It's going to be difficult. If it was easy, everyone would do it. But you have to be willing to give extra. Go the extra mile. That's why they say there's no traffic jams along the extra mile because people simply aren't willing to put in the work. Right? So if you have the unmitigated nerve to believe that you deserve to be able to give more to your family, to churches or altruistic organizations, be able to take vacations, be able to, to fund that, that nonprofit or that idea or that passion that you have. Be at a point where you've gotten money as an issue out the way so you can live a life of purpose as opposed to live a life of half-twos, right? Building someone else's dream, paying for their kids' college and paying for their extravagant vacations. You know, if you want to build a life where you are the superstar that you are serenading and applauding when you wake up in the morning as opposed to some celebrity on the television set, you got to be willing to put in the work. I mean, at the end of the day, that's the bottom line. You know, we had a guest and an associate that traveled two and a half, three hours. They traveled three hours. You got a briefing right around the corner from you. 30 minute drive where a multi-millionaire is there promoting your business and you have the unmitigated nerve to say 
oh, it's 30, 45 minutes away, I'm tired, and then you don't invite a guest on top of that, stop. You're not building a business. Be real. You're building, this is a hobby for you, right? I'm just being real. A guest doesn't even know what they don't know, doesn't know what they should know. They just know that it's something that is real, that's happening, where there's success, and people are having 300 and 500 and 5,000 hour days, travels three hours. That means they have to travel three hours back. An associate who traveled two hours, that meant they had to travel two hours back. By the way, that associate um, did have guests in the room. Stop it, right? Stop it. So look, uh, tired isn't a reason not to build your business. It's not. Um, things are difficult. It's not a reason to build your business. Look, I'm, I know I'm going to go here on some people. I know I'm about to go somewhere. Look, I was a single parent once. I get it, right? I get it. I know what it's like. I remember the difficulties and the challenges of finding a babysitter. I know what it was like to be in a situation where um, I had to cut corners and do things that, quite frankly, sometimes I didn't want to do um so i could build what it is that i was building and the bottom line is i'm gonna tell you successful people do what unsuccessful people are unwilling to do you have to find that babysitter the same reason why same way you'd have to find a babysitter um if you got called into work you wouldn't tell the boss well i don't have a babysitter the boss says be there you're gonna get your behind there right you gotta treat your business the same way you gotta treat your dream you gotta treat your financial independence just as seriously you have to be just as committed you have to be just as, as laser focused on your financial independence as you are the just over broke, the job. Matter of fact, you got to give it more. And you should expect the difficulty. You should expect challenges to overcome. Get it done. Because look, five years are going to go by. Five years are going to go by. That's the one thing we all can be assured of. The question is, what are you going to do during these five years? Are you going to build something? Are you going to sacrifice? Are you going to do the things that are necessary to put yourself at a point where you've built an asset that pays you an income whether you go to work or not? So when you look your kids, so when you look your family, so when you look your peers, so when you look those haters and naysayers, and when you look those people who applaud at you, you can say thank you. And you can look at your family and those who count on you proudly. So you can't be on some, I wish I did. You can say, I'm glad I did this. I'm glad I made these sacrifices. So now we have the lifestyle. We have the things that we always talked about. And now they're a reality. We have an opportunity to live a life that people dream, right? We literally have the opportunity to live lives that people dream about. So you have to be willing to work while other people are asleep. And that's just the bottom line. So... You know, this is my early in the morning a.m. rant. You know, once again, I just implore individuals, get real with yourselves, commit, um, expect that certain issues are going to transpire, expect they're going to be challenged, expect it's going to be difficult. Success is not found in the comfort zone. It's not found in the comfort zone. Winners work outside the comfort zone. They do the extra things that make them uncomfortable so later on they can enjoy a life of comfort to those who are unwilling to be uncomfortable can only imagine so hey this is your life to live like i said before the five years are going to go by um this company's going to continue to grow individuals are continue to make sacrifices to enjoy and be a part of that growth but you know what the juice is certainly going to be worth the squeeze i look forward to seeing you over the top